All right, let's dive into, this is a really quick and easy one, is the tip of the week. Uh, three awesome ways to use the new website announcement bar message. We've been seeing a lot of people placing promotions using the website announcement uh, bar message, and we wanted to give you guys some more ideas on how to use the website announcement bar add-on. Uh, let me just show you guys what that is exactly. I'll scroll down here. There's a new add-on we released just a few weeks ago, and it allows you to basically place an announcement bar at the top of your website for whatever purpose uh, you want it to. And we wanted to just give you a few extra ideas on how you can utilize this super awesome add-on on your website. Uh, so, Pat, I'm going to pass it over to you if you want to just kind of explain what someone can do with the announcement bar, and we'll go into the three um, th three ways that you can you know, best utilize it on your website. Yeah, so, so the real idea of the announcement bar is so that you have a tool that really grabs someone's attention. Uh, people tend to look from top to bottom on a website. So this tool really helps you promote a specific message to a specific uh, core audience. Uh, and, and the nice thing about the tool is that it's clickable. So it's very easy for you to have a link attached to the announcement that you're promoting. So, so when somebody clicks on it or if they click on a button itself, uh, then at that point uh, they'll be taken to whichever page you want that to be. It could, it could be a, a landing page to sign up. It could be uh, a landing page. It could be a uh, multiple different things. And, and that's basically uh, what the tool is. Awesome. So let's jump right into it. And the most obvious one here is uh, to promote a sign-up offer or deal. So how does that work, Pat? So, so basically what you want to do is you'd want to target people that are not logged in. One of the settings I really like about this add-on is that you can control when it's displaying. Obviously, you wouldn't want to have a, a, a promo or a deal to sign up on the website if somebody's already signed up on that website. So you'll see one of the settings here that Jason is showing is to say whether or not you want it to always display. And in this instance, what we do is we would say only if you're not logged in. So after I signed up, I would not see that special offer any longer. That's right. And obviously sometimes members will come to your site and they need to log back in so they might see the message. But it's it's a it's a good way to incentivize new visitors or people who are on the fence to uh, use a promo code to sign up or use a free trial period to sign up with with no obligation or anything to worry about. Yeah, I really like the example you have there with the promo 25 off. So you're utilizing two add-ons there, the, the the coupon codes as well as the announcement bar. And then, of course, as it says in point number three, if you were to click on that, you'd absolutely want to take them to the sign-up page where they can implement that particular promo code. That's really important, actually. You know, you might be inclined to send them to your join page where they could look at all your membership levels, but you might lose them at that point. They got excited about a promo, just take them directly to a sign-up page where they can register easily, enter the promo code, and join your website. Giving them more decisions to make after they already got excited about a promo, it might minimize the amount of, of sign-ups that you can leverage uh, with a promo banner like this on your website. Yeah. All right, numero dos, number two. This one I haven't seen anybody do yet, uh, but it did, it did come to mind that it'd be something really good to either reward a, an existing member that's a premium member or perhaps an advertiser on your website. So the content that people are adding on your website, whether events, maybe your members are adding coupons, maybe they're promoting properties, maybe there's a real estate agent on a property website that really wants to sell a property and you have something to offer them and you can say, hey, if you pay X amount of dollars, I'll put it at the top of the site on all of our pages, just promoting this property as a fire sale and help you get rid of that particular property, get it off your hands. So actually using the announcement bar as a marketing tool uh, to, to set up some special arrangement between yourselves and your advertisers would be a really use, good use case of this. That's right. Because the announcement bar was on the website, Patrick and I now have U2 concert tickets at the Staples Center because we saw this That's announcement right. bar there. <laughs> Can't wait. And, and, yeah, another important thing is 
link directly to the profile or the post page. So you can specify a link. Let me let me show you where that is. I know we've covered this before, but you can have a link URL. This is the web link of where the button's going to link to, and you can have link text, which is what it says inside of the link. All Correct. Right. Number three here, promote lead magnets. All right, we just talked about that with Ken. He brought it up. I know we, we bring it often, bring it up often in the webinars. But yeah, using this to promote a lead manic that you've invested a lot of resources would be a, an exact an excellent uh, use case for the the this particular tool. And as you can see, you'd want to link obviously directly to the lead magnet is, itself so that you can collect as many emails as possible. Yeah, in, in the example with Ken's site, the planning guide that we kind of just invented on the spot to add to his main menu, that would be great for the website announcement message is, is free download, planning your study abroad trip, uh, get it now. And you put your email address and, and now you know, now you've captured an email of someone who's interested in going study abroad and you can put them into your system for matching them with programs, agents, etc. Correct. All right, those were the three tips, but hey, we have a bonus tip for you guys, um, <laughs> which is number four is you can provide tips, kind of like lead magnets, but more more towards your members, if providing them with tips on how they can improve their business or best utilize your site. Um, and with this one, you want to make sure that the members are logged in, so only members, logged in members see this, and you can promote Similar to lead magnets, you can link them to resource pages on how to increase their online visibility, hopefully by completing their listing on your website, um, how they can gain access to more leads. Again, they can complete their listing and add content, and that'll give them more visibility on your website, or tips to help their profiles shine. Basically, this is a great way to get your members to incentivize, educate, and encourage your members to add more content to your website. And really, you should be sharing what they stand to benefit from doing certain actions. So the message at the top could be nice and catchy, but when you link it to the resource page, you want it to be inform you want it to be easy to understand and digest the benefits the members will gain if they do certain actions on your website. Correct. And, and I know oftentimes we recommend not to launch your site with all the features because when you launch with all the features, there's no exciting announcements to make to your member base. So if you launch with one or two features and, you, and then in your third month and you started signing members up, perhaps you decide, okay, we're going to launch the events feature. Uh, that'd be a great announcement in the announcement bar for, lo lo uh, for logged in members saying, you can now add events, click here to learn more, promote your next event, new feature. Click here to learn more. So really using that as, as, a, as a, a, a support tool and also a marketing tool for your existing membership base is a great use of, of this uh, announcement bar. Actually, and, and you can also offer other services. It doesn't just have to be information. You could, you, you could say things like allow our team to help you optimize your profile. And you could put a phone number there, or you can send them to your contact us page where they can request to have their profile optimized and you know someone who's interested in your site and that's an opportunity to get on the phone or start an email discussion with them and then offer some upsell or upgrade opportunities to that interested party. Mm -hmm. And I've even seen somebody uh, use it for an affiliate link. So they have a really good affiliate deal that's perfect for their membership base and it's a platform that actually costs a lot of money. So each sale generates great commissions on that affiliate link and they use the announcement bar to drive all the traffic to that affiliate link itself. So there's lots of different ways you can use this for to your advantage. And here's a fun one. You could just put a fun message up there for the day, maybe something inspirational, and you change it every other day with the, the background colors or something like that. And people will maybe like to visit your site just to read that inspirational quote once in a while. Uh, but you're obviously your members and such. So you can do really playful things with the website announcement message. It doesn't just need to be for business uh, all the time. So those are some, some fun tips to utilize the website announcement bar add-on.